guys, it's Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am here to show you the lovely gifts that I have received in the last couple weeks from people in the community. And Dewey's going to be a co-pilot. So I'm going to go, I think, in the order that they, they came. <coughs> Molly, leave that alone. Uh, first, I got a package from Lorna. This is actually for Kristen and myself, and it had this really cute card in it. Um which I love. I was not expecting this package. And in said package, there were some wonderful teas for Kristen. There's some passion fruit, black tea, pumpkin pie, and sleepy time tea. She hasn't tried those yet, but she will. And then some Gina Chunky. We got two skeins of that. One in color 108 and one in color 102. Um, I think this one was for Kristen to knit for me, and this one was for me to knit for Kristen, but I can't remember exactly, to be honest. Um, she sent me, she said this was not a gift. She sent me a 17 by 17 Q-snap, because she thought I could use it, and I can. This was actually on my wish list for Christmas. She sent me this pattern for some socks. It's called Escalera, uh, which means which is ladder in Spanish. She sent me this really cute mustache bag. Pardon me, Dewey is trying to help a little bit too much. She sent me a little mini skein of Miss Babs. Dewey's moving the computer now. Dewey, they want to see the tree. And this really adorable pin, Sit and Spin, which I hope to be doing tomorrow. Fingers crossed my piece comes. She sent this cute little notebook with a pen, which I actually, every time I go to webs, I look for this, and it's never in stock. Um, this is a bookmark from her LYS, who's carrying my bags. She sent Kristen and I both a Starbucks gift card, which is adorable. I'll take both of those out because they're both the same. Um, this is also from her LYS. and has a little pen here. I'm going to put this in my knitting bag because if it goes missing, I won't be sad. Whereas this I'll put in my purse because I'm less apt to lose something in my purse than in my knitting bag. Um, some lip balm from the LYS. She said this was not a gift either. <laughs> this was like, uh, she had knit some of these and she thought I could knit some, which I definitely can. Some really cute baby hats in here. Which I probably shouldn't be looking through while, while um, I'm filming. And there's more in here, believe it or not, there's more. Um, she sent me these really adorable, I don't know if you'll be able to see them, must, yes you can, mustache stitch markers from Aloops. I also got this box, and inside that box was, da 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 da, this sheet mug, which I had been admiring on, god, you guys are going to be nauseous from this video, on the LYS's video, um, Facebook page. And last but certainly not least, she sent me this skein from Daybreak Dye Works. It's um, a fingering weight yarn, 462 yards, 75% superwash, 25% nylon. Here is the beautiful yarn. And look at the colorway name. Batman! Dewey, you have to be quiet, buddy. Making a video. Thank you, Miss Lorna. I don't think... Oh, I did miss a piece of candy, but Kristen's already eaten that. So. The next package I got was from my Secret Santa. And it had this really cute card in it. And my Santa was Ken, the Turbo Knitter. Which, I loved doing the Secret Santa. 
But it was kind of hard knowing who my Santa was, although I knew that I was going to be spoiled rotten with Ken, and I was. So let's see what Ken sent me. He sent not one, but two sets of stitch markers. These are clip-on stitch markers. And they say, like, increase right side, wrong side, which I love. Sit down, Dewey. That's a good boy. And then these, I don't know where these are from or if he made them, but I love them. Stuff on the bag. And then these are little dangly stitch markers, which I wish they would stop moving. There we go. So cute. Love them. Love them, love them. Can never have too many stitch markers in my mind. She's... He sent me this um, jelly roll, which I will definitely be using soon. <clears throat> he sent one skein. There's a skein of yarn missing. Might be upstairs. I forgot one skein of yarn. This is Cascade 220 Paints. So pretty. I love it. This is a, a non-superwash um, yarn. Its color is 9727. Oh, I'm so bummed. I'll have to show the other skein in my next video. I hope nobody took it. He also sent me two skeins of Cascade Ven Venezia, Venezia Sport Multis in the color 210. And this yarn is 70% mulberry, I mean, merino wool, and 30% mulberry silk. And so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And with that, which I think was intentional, from my wish list, he sent me this book, 60 Quick Knits for Luxury Yarns Dewey. <laughs> Um, which I didn't realize at the time is our easy elegance, elegant projects for the Venezia or Venezia collection. And several things in here I was like, oh, I think that, that looks just like the yarn he sent me. So that was pretty awesome. He sent two skeins of this. One is in another color. And I think I must have left it upstairs in the studio. But this is Malabrigo Worsted, which is... 210 yards of pure merino. This color is nostalgia. How beautiful is that? So beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Can't see my tree anymore because Dewey moved everything. I, oh, where is the other one? I, the other one must be upstairs. I promise I'll show it in my next TGIF video. So beautiful. Love it. I'm not sure what I'm going to knit with that yet. And he sent me three notebooks. And what's awesome about these notebooks is they are graph paper. When I was in high school, I spent some time in Spain, and almost all the notebooks in the stores were graph paper, and I have been obsessed with graph paper notebooks since then, so love them. My handmade item in the Secret Santa box was awesome because I'm all about handmade ornaments right now is or is the gnome is where the heart is but I think it's no knit Sherlock I've knit one of these and I just love them they're adorable and I love that she's a redhead and last but certainly not least this is my favorite part in the box I have to be honest is knitted dolls by Arnie and Carlos um these dolls actually have entire wardrobes. Um, just trying to see if I can... There's a page of overview. Oh, here they are. These are all the different dolls. And look at all those clothes. Oh, I just can't wait. Cannot wait! And I wish I could say I'm going to knit them for a child, but I'm probably going to knit them for myself. From Fatima, who's Hussein Creations. I got this really beautiful card. And, I can put this on my tree now, 
These cute little teeny tiny mittens. Aren't they adorable? And it says on it, wishing you a holiday you'll always remember. <clears throat> I love them and I cannot wait to put them on my Christmas tree. And Gladys, who is on Addie's Crochet, sent this cute card and she said this was a thank you for running the swap and was it her mother or her mother-in-law? Her future mother-in-law made these handmade soaps and they're just so cute. And this one, I don't want to take it out of the package, but this one is shaped like a sheep. And you know how I just said I'm not going to take it out of the package? Well, here I go. Look at that. It's a sheep. Sheep soap. I don't know. It might be too cute to use. I feel like when you were growing up, your grandmother's bathroom had those flower-shaped or shell-shaped sheep, shell-shaped soaps that you could only look at. At least mine did. But not least, I got a package from the amazing and wonderful Sarah Hepworth. Um, I think the card is buried, so I'll have to pull it out. She sent us, Kristen and I, not one, but two hurdy mugs. The pink one is in drying. But she also sent a purple one. I think this was intended for Kristen. But we share. Um, she sent this. This is Kristen's favorite tea. We can get it here, but it's not the same. Um, so she sent Kristen this um, Twinnings English breakfast tea. And I just want to show you this canister. Kristen loves the canister, but the leaves are all little tea leaves and teapots. Not tea leaves. Teapots and teacups. Isn't that adorable? So she's so uber excited about that. We also got some cozy Earl Grey tea, which I'm excited to try. And it, um, it's um, it got knitting on it. It's not actual knitting, but the packaging is knitting. It's cables. In each of the hearty mugs were some chocolates. Oh, I found the card. Isn't that an adorable little card? And it's just just a little note to me and Kristen. So back back to the candy. Inside each of the hearty mugs, <coughs> there was one patch package of sprouts, which is solid milk chocolate. And one package of <coughs> clementines, which is, what did they say this is? Clementine flavored milk chocolate. I'm thinking we're going to bring these on Christmas and share them. And the other chocolates that, well, candies that Bob Wilson123 sent us, I think we're going to share them with our niece. Okay, we got a clementine. And for Kristen, Maltesers, because she loves Maltesers. I don't want to forget anything because this was an amazing package. And then a skein of <coughs> opal sock yarn in the color 8733. I don't speak German as we've been over before but it's really beautiful it's like pinks and purples it like matches our hurdy mugs perfect and I love it I'm obsessed with opal but I think we've already established that okay so I was just kidding and I went and got that other skein of Malabrigo um, I have to show you it's so beautiful this is also Malabrigo worsted and the color is I'm not going to attempt I'm not going to butcher this. And these are not typical colors I would gravitate towards, but I love them. It's like maroons. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's maroons and yellows and browns, and it's just, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, I wonder what it'll grow up to be. So, that's it. And um, I probably won't see you before Christmas. So have a very Merry Christmas or any holiday that you celebrate. I hope it's wonderful. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.